Hey everybody, this is Jennifer. I'm coming to you with another sales update video. Uh, the first item I have is a pair of guest jeans. Um, they're shorts. And uh, I was actually kind of surprised about how well they did. I didn't look them up. I, I picked them up because they were carpenter shorts and I usually do well with carpenter jeans. Um, and guess isn't bad either. Uh, if it's vintage, um, I'm not sure if these were vintage. I actually didn't look it up. I put them out for $19.99 and they sold for a grand total of $26.79. Just so you know, all the pricing I'll be giving you um, is including shipping. Um, if an item is over a pound, I have the buyer pay shipping. And if it's under, I offer free shipping. Okay, the next item is a men's chaps easy care shirt, short sleeve. Um, chaps I do not normally pick up unless it's really cheap and I'm gonna lock them together. But this was new with tags and it was only a dollar at the Salvation Army and it sold for $19.99. Okay, this is a pair of Clark's bendable shoes. Um, they're Mary Jane's. Uh, I always pick up Clark's. I usually pick them up between four and five dollars and only if they're in good condition. And that goes for all shoes. I, I don't pick up shoes anymore. If they have any wear, they just require too much work. Um, I picked these up for four dollars and they sold for 25. Okay, this was a woman's L.L. Bean cardigan sweater. It was a cotton sweater, but it was really it was super heavy. This sweater was so pretty. Um, I paid full price. It was $5.50 and it sold for $38.45. Okay, this is just a men's Levi's um, long sleeve shirt on um, pearl snap with the Western pockets. And I picked this up at the Salvation Army for $3 and it sold for a grand total of $20.15. Okay, this is a women's vintage 80s. It has that 80s. I believe it's 80s just because of the way it looks. Um, it's from the Limited and it was mohair. So I like the fact that it looked like it was from the 80s and the fact that it was mohair was just another plus. I paid $2.75 at Goodwill. It was half off and it sold for $26.79. Okay, this was interesting. <laughs> this was an erotic ring sterling silver ring and it was at the goodwill and i don't even think they realized what it was um it's called an orgy ring and it was three dollars and i knew just because of the subject matter it was going to sell and it sold probably within a couple of days uh for 29 dollars and 99 cents okay this is a men's lands end coat i picked this up for a dollar at the salvation army well over a year ago and it finally sold for $34.99 and this is a coach wristlet purse um I picked this up at a garage sale for three dollars and it sold for 20. and this is a wakehole I guess that's how you pronounce it um it's a bra and I picked this up at the Burlington Co Factory where I really have to go again because actually the stuff I've gotten from there has sold pretty well. Um, this was $5 and it sold for $17.99. Okay, this was interesting. It was a vintage pinstripe dress. Um, it was from Saks Fifth Avenue and I picked it up for a dollar at the um, Salvation Army. I had it for a while because they're not running that sale any longer. But um, you know, it's really, if you're in an area where you can't get those great names, you know, like all those names that you want to get and everyone talks about, but it's really not available a lot in your area, like mine, um, it's really good to get to know what kind of vintage clothes sell. Because often you'll come across vintage clothes that you can get the same kind of money for, if not more, because it, the vintage clothes will make it to the dollar sales and the half off sales, you know, because people really aren't looking for it as much, I've noticed. So this did make it to the dollar sale and I did have it for a little while, but it sold for $34.45. Okay, this is a vintage Woolrich um, shirt. It was a dollar at the Salvation Army, which is the only reason I picked it up. I had it for a while, but it sold for $13.49. This was interesting. This was at the Salvation Army. It 
I've never heard of it before. It's a Fallout Boy and it was a sweatshirt and it had a hood that looked like this. And for some reason, <laughs> I wasn't looking at it quite clearly. And I thought it was a dog originally and I put dog because I, I found Fallout Boy on the internet and I found their clothes on the internet and it did get pretty good money, but I, I couldn't find this sweatshirt with the animal and the paw print. And so it was funny because a, a kid bought it and he's like, yeah, by the way, that's a bear. And I'm like, oh yeah, <laughs> actually it is a bear. So, but anyway, it made it to a half off sale at the Salvation Army. I picked it up for $3 and it sold for $35.99. But if you see anything with, I guess it's a band, Fallout Boy, FOB, um, they do sell and they sell pretty well. So you can keep your eye out for that. All right, this is a Brooks Brothers patchwork blazer. Um, it's women's. Um, often these blazers, because of the way they look, do make it to that half off sale or some kind of sale because a lot of people are not picking this up, especially in my area. They're not picking this up. Um, I paid $3.50 for this and it's sold for $42.79. Right, this is nothing special. Christopher Banks um, comfort waist pants. Even the size, it was a size eight, so nothing special going on here, but it was only 50 cents at the Goodwill and it sold for $13.49. And another thing, not special, B Moss, do not look for this. It is nothing. I picked it up for a dollar at the Salvation Army a long, long time ago and it eventually sold for $12. J. Crew, J. Crew is good. I would definitely look for that, uh, especially if it's cashmere, which this sweater was. And I paid a dollar for this at the Salvation Army, and it sold for twenty-four dollars and seventy-nine cents. Okay, this is a Chico's long denim blue jean skirt. I I've done pretty well with these long jean skirts, you know, with the slit either in the back or in the front. Um, there's a label. Uh, I picked this up for $3 at the Salvation Army and it sold for $19.44. Okay, this is nothing special. It's a Panthers Nikes jacket. I had it for a very long time. I paid a dollar for this at the Salvation Army and it sold for $13.49. And this was just cute. I picked it up at a church sale. Um, the JJ Jeanette jewelry. Um, you're not going to get a ton of money for it, but it usually does sell. I've sold other pins and stuff from, from this company. So you can look for this, um, 50 cents at a church sale and it's sold for, uh, $8 and 99 cents, but I've sold others for like 15 to $20. So it all depends. All right. This is a Croft and Barrow cable knit sweater. I believe it was cotton. Um, the only reason I got it, it was not for the name, it was brand new with tags and I only paid a dollar for it and it sold for $26.77. And well, this was interesting um, because it was a mess, like the sleeves were coming undone. So this Tommy Hill figure, the reason I got it because it's vintage and the colors are great and it has the name on it. So even though like the Velcro was peeling off the sleeve, well, let me show you. The, the sleeve was like a mess. So it did make it to the, the sale. Um, let's see what I paid. They only had it out for $6 because it had a bunch of flaws and uh, I paid $3 for it. And I, I was just curious. So I, I purchased it, I put it out in auction and it's still got $28 and 85 cents. So, you know, if you see something that looks like this, you know what I mean? It's got that great Tommy Hilfiger vintage look where it's a bold colors and the name is on it. Um, and it's cheap enough, go ahead and give it a try with the flaws because you still probably could make some money on it. Okay, this is a Thayer and Chandler. It's an airbrush set, vintage. I picked this up for $2 at a garage sale and it sold for $22.50. And this is a pair of Merrill Metastretch shoes, performance shoes. And I always pick up Merrill as well. And they were $5 at the Goodwill and they sold for $34.44.
Okay, the last eBay item I have is a pair of J. Jill pants. Uh, J. Jill is great. These were new, so I paid the full price for them. They had them out for $7 at the Salvation Army. I paid the seven and they sold pretty quickly for $30.79. Okay, the last couple of items I have are from Etsy. Uh, this was a belt buckle, wonderful Wyoming. Um, I picked this up at the Goodwill and it was, it normally the belt buckles are with the jewelry, but this was just laying on a shelf. It didn't have a price. So I asked one of the girls there, she's like, oh, how about a dollar? I was like, okay, great. Um, it sold pretty quickly. I think like within a week for $20. So that wasn't bad at all. All right. This is just a vintage daisy brooch. Um, I've sold a couple of these. So if you see something that looks like this, these vintage, um, Daisy pins, they sell pretty well. Um, you're not going to make a mint off of them. Um, it depends on the color. I usually sell them between $8 and $10. This one I have for a while, so I did lower it. Um, I only paid a quarter for it at a church sale, and it sold for $6.82. Okay, my last item is a vintage LaBelle. I don't know if the name has anything to do with it. The name is LaBelle. Uh, it was a velvet hat and it had this pretty cool pin on it so let's take a look at that so sides and goodwill all their hats are two dollars and 49 cents so i picked those up for 249 and it sold for 24 dollars and 34 cents okay well that's all i have for today i hope you enjoyed the video and i will see you next time